welcome to week three of My Urban Garden. Now, I've been really inspired this week by the people who've taken time to comment and message me directly about the sorts of things that I'm doing here in my garden. And it reminded me why I wanted to start blogging about what I'm doing here, and that's really to connect with people. Uh, I don't have an allotment, I work here in my garden on my own, and sometimes I find it, well, just a little bit lonely. So it's been really nice to connect with people and realise that even though YouTube has billions of people, uh, there are still these small communities of people that are sharing and helping each other. So thanks for that, keep your messages coming. Now the weather this week has been all over the place, we've had snow, we've had sun, we've had rain, and today it's raining. Um, and on a day like today I might probably think, well, I'm not really sure if I want to go out there, but providing this blog and um, having people and knowing people watching it has been quite motivational. Here I am, and I'm out here doing some of the jobs that need to be done today. First one I'm going to get going with is to take a look at my rhubarb. I absolutely love rhubarb. Big fan of having rhubarb in crumble and uh, in other desserts and stuff as well. And um, we'll go and uh, have a look at uh, how it's been getting on over the winter. I keep the rhubarb over here in this bed, and it's a uh, it's a timply early variety. Uh, in amongst the spinach and the uh, shard here and it seems to be doing quite well um, but some new uh, sort of early growth coming here the colour of the leaves seems quite good um, now it suggests that I should have mulched this with uh, sort of manure uh, back in the uh, the winter when everything died back and I didn't do that um, and they're quite hungry plants so, uh, so I'm going to go ahead and give it a bit of a top dressing with some manure uh, today I'm adding ordinary farmyard manure to the rhubarb, taking care not to cover the crown as the crown can rot quite easily if you cover it. So I'm making sure it's all around so that the roots can take in all the goodness from the manure. For my very first plant of the week, it's this little guy. Uh, this I got from, uh, from my nan, um, and she said it's a Christmas rose, which was quite confusing to me for a, a while. Uh, but I've been doing a little bit of research, and uh, Christmas rose is actually a hellebore. Um, now, if it is a true Christmas rose, and I'm not too sure if it is, so if you know your hellebores out there, then uh, get in touch. Um, but uh, if it is a Christmas rose, then this is Helleborus niger, um, and it could be. Um, you can see that the uh, the flowers are uh, these sort of uh, five petaled flowers, uh, and they're lime greenish really inside, with a sort of a creamy uh, creamy outer. Um, and it's got this uh, really kind of toothed, quite uh, quite harshly toothed foliage there. It's quite uh, leathery as well. Um, and um, I've got it in this pot here, and it's probably not the best place for me to have it. It, uh, it gets the full sun in the summer, which other balls don't normally like. They prefer uh, more of a shady place, um, and they do prefer uh, non-acidic conditions. Now I have it in a pot here with uh, some of the things, I think there's a fuchsia in there, uh, and I did that just to sort of keep them uh, alive for a while. Um, these I'm going to replant at some point, uh, not now for the hellebore, that's in flower. Uh, I'll do my research to work out when the best time to, uh, to replant that is. Uh, and I've got a few shadier parts in my garden down by uh, the fence, so when I've uh, created the borders down there, uh, this little chap I think will be going down there. So, plant of the week, Helleborus niger. I think I might be a little bit behind on some of my seed sowing. I'd hope to have uh, done some more of it by now, but um, I'm going to crack on and sow some more today. Uh, the first thing I'm going to sow are sweet peas. Um, so I've got my uh, sweet peas here. Um, these are uh, kind of these these are old spice mix. Now these are an old packet from um, from last year, or maybe even the year before, and. Um, I didn't look after the seedlings, the slugs got to them, the weather got to them, all that kind of stuff. Um, but this time I, I'm just going to give the, the, there's about 10 or 12 left in this packet, so I'm going to try those. So I'm, the way I'm going to sow these is uh, with toilet tubes. So this is just filled with uh, multi-purpose compost. Um, and the great thing about using cardboard tubes are um, you don't have to disturb the roots when, uh, when you transplant them. 
and uh, the sweet peas don't really like their roots being disturbed so I can grow them in these tubes and when they're ready to plant out I'll just keep the cardboard really moist and uh, the cardboard will just decompose in the um, wherever I plant them out. Um, so because I've only got a few seeds, I've only got a few toilet roll tubes here. This is what the uh, sweet pea seeds are like. Next thing I'm going to sow are my uh, tomatoes. Um, so I got some free uh, money maker tomatoes with a magazine. So I'm going to sow some of these now and uh, see how they get on. I'm going to keep them also in the house uh, on a sunny windowsill. And finally this week I'm sowing spring onions and the flavouring bergamot used in Earl Grey tea. And here are the seeds in their germination place. The bergamot, spring onions, tomatoes, and down here, the sweet peas. Each week, I'll be recording the produce that my garden has provided. This week, beetroot leaves that I'll be putting in a salad, along with this Swiss chard. This will make a great salad sautéed with some garlic, to go with the giant red mustard leaves that you saw a few weeks ago. Winter lettuce, which is doing quite nicely, topped off with some cress that I grew last week. There's a salad, cheese not from my garden. And this evening I'll be roasting a chicken to go with this sage and then doing some minted potatoes with this mint here. So that's me done for another week. Thanks for watching. If you're enjoying these videos, please hit the subscribe button so I can keep in contact with you. And join me next time in Wayne's Urban Garden.